What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I want to answer some frequently asked questions that I get a lot. The first one, so John, what protein powders do I need to start with to get back in the gym or get back to activity, get back on track? Well, the answer is you don't need protein powder to get back on track or get any activity in the gym or start. All you need to do is get that motivation and really just get yourself in the car, drive yourself down there and get the courage and the motivation to walk in that gym and really just start somewhere, anywhere. You know, starting somewhere is better than nothing. Doing some activity is better than nothing. So protein powders, do they have any value? Yes, protein powders do have value, okay? Now, protein you can get from a lot of different sources like beef or poultry or fish. These are the best sources probably to get them from. And my favorite, obviously, is steak. So that has the best amino profile, um, gets from the most nutrients. So I really, really like steak. But those three are the big main sources of protein. And you can get these pretty much anywhere you go. I mean, you can get grilled chicken pretty much everywhere. You can stop and get steak places and fish the exact same way. Now, protein powders. What value do they have and what role should they play in your diet? Now, protein powders are good if you want to not eat a meal in the morning for breakfast and you're getting a protein shake in. Um, if you haven't ate a meal in a long time and you don't have any good food sources by you, a protein shake's better than nothing. You don't want your body to go into a catabolic effect and start eating away the muscle you already have, right, by using that protein. Another thing is after your workout, it, it's good to get a protein shake in. You know, if you get it in, they say get in within the first 30 minutes, hour of your workout, it's really good because your, your body is craving and needing these different nutrients and it absorbs it pretty well. Another good one is possibly pre-workout. Now, I wouldn't drink a whole big protein shake before you go and train. It might make you lethargic, might make you feel full and bloated, and that's not desirable when you're training. So these are just some of the different ways that I would incorporate a protein shake in my daily routine or after exercising. I hope this tip has helped you guys. Uh, if you guys want more tips and tricks like this, Please just DM us your questions and we'd be happy to answer them live for you guys on these videos. So guys, stay tuned, stay healthy, and stay tight and strong.